Good evening, people of God. Thank you, Lord. Good evening. Good evening, people of God. Sorry for some of the tiredness here. Praise the Lord for another day. We give the people of God some time to come on in here. Me being tired of myself. Good evening, saints. Thank you, my Father, my Lord, and my Savior. Come on, join us in here, saints. God bless you. Good evening to you all. Good evening to you all. Thank our Lord. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Everybody come on in and join us. Praise the living God. Amen. Amen. Saints of God. Amen. Let's get us some uh, worship going on, saints of God. Thank God for y'all being here with us. It's always good to to be here along with the saints of God, to worship the Lord, to hear his word, to rejoice, to praise, to give God his glory. This is always a pleasure, saints, to be in the house of the Lord with his people, with people that got the same mind you have, to want to honor the Lord thy God. We praise him for who he are, or who he is to us, saints. Or rather, we have everything that we want and not saints we have breath in our body and we close in our right mind so we praise god for those things there saints and the rest god is filling the blanks for us here amen to that saints of god let us get into some worship here saints thank you jesus is Bless his name, saints. Holy, holy yes, God. Is the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. The whole earth is here with his love. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, holy, yes, God, is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with His glory. Thank you, Jesus. Pressing, 
of the living God the whole world is filled with his glory hallelujah Jesus saints of God the whole world is filled with his glory the whole world speaks of his majesty what is your Lord thy God to you saints is he your everything the whole world is filled with his glory the whole world should give him praise and adoration and thank the living God for the breath that we have in our body. It's because of this grace and mercy that we have our being, saints of God. That we have our right mind. That I can raise my hand and say, praise the living God. And I'm not going here, going there. Not putting my shirt on inside out. Or walking outside the house naked. I could have lost my mind, saints. I could have been dead in my sins. But God, through his mercy and through his grace and through his glory, saints, I'm here today to celebrate the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. That's something to shout and praise about right there, saints. We don't have to count anything else, saints. But I got my right mind. I got my hands raised up and glorifying God. Knowing that because he is, I am who I am today, saints of God. That's the mind I have today, saints. I don't care if nobody else praise God, but me, myself, I'm going to praise and glorify God, saints. Because I know that I know that I know that I know God could have left me dead in my sins. I could have been side the road, mama and daddy, and nobody could help me when the hand of God is upon you, saints. No one can save you. But through his grace and his mercy, saints, I am that I am. Oh, hallelujah, saints. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Shout and praise God today, saints, for what God is to you today, saints. His glory, saints. His glory is in this place. His glory, saints, drives us. His glory, saints, is my being. Oh, hallelujah, saints. I love God for his presence in this place. Praise God. Oh, I thank you, God. Ah, Shandabu. Hekondobo Sata. The whole place, the whole world is filled with his glory. Oh, my Sila Bandrokona. Oh, saints of God. You better catch on to the five God saints. You better grab your own five saints of God. It's going to get cold from all the sins in our desolate habitation saints around the world. You better get the five God in your life saints. You better get the five God in your life. So you'll be able to sustain this storm, this bitter cold, this storm, this siege is coming our way. This siege of sin is trying to box us in. You better get the fire of God in your life, saints. We better learn how to glorify God, saints, because that's what's going to sustain us, saints, during the times of testing. Get on to the glory of God. Know how to worship and glorify God, saints, right now, before the bottom falls out. Because many of us right now, our faith is hanging by a thread. We love God right now because things seem good in our life. But when you're broke, 
when everybody has turned their back on you, what would you do then? If you go through Job's situation, will you say that? Though he slay me, I still yet serve him. Though I'm filled with sores and boils, I still going to praise the Lord for God. What will you do, saints, if you are going through Job? That's the question. Learn how to praise God right now, saints. Many of us don't have a praise in our spirit right now, and we ain't going through nothing. So what's going to happen if the bottom falls out? You get sick or you lose your job or something. What will you do then? Oh, hallelujah, saints of God. Saints, sometimes we got to inventory ourselves, saints. Nobody need to tell you, saints, that you ain't right. Look at the mirror for ourselves and see if, if something in me is not right, saints. If I ain't got enough praise in me, if some wicked root in me of sin or, or rebellion, you know what I mean, or lethargic behavior, or, or pride, or arrogance, whatever it may be, saints, allow God to dig it out, saints. Because give God his glory and give God his praise right now, saints, while things right now aren't that difficult. Because if you ain't got praise right now, what will happen, saints, when you go through Job? Oh, saints of God, that's for somebody today, saints. That's for somebody right now. They have lost their praise. They have lost their zeal in God. Where is your praise? Where is your adoration toward the living God? Because I'm telling you, saints, if we don't have praise right now, while things are all right, well, things aren't that bad, what will you do? When the times of testing come your way, what will you do? I'm not saying that some of us have not been tested, but test, say, there are levels to this thing. There are levels to this thing, those saints of God. Things can get worse. Some of us say, well, I don't want the wall this here. Saints, some things can get worse. Believe me, I'm a living testimony. <laughs> I know about fiery trials. I know about the testing times, saints of God. I understand. I believe what I'm saying, saints of God. I understand, saints. And I'm still not swayed. I'm still pressing toward the mark of the high call of God. Saints of God, how about you? Let us keep this praise, saints. If you ain't got no praise, saints, gain this here. Find out what's going on. What's, what's, what's stopping your praise? What's stopping you to glorify God? Why are you dead during praise and worship time? Why are you dead when the songs of worship come on? But when some rap song come on or army song come on, you moving your hands and, and, and flapping your hands and do all kinds of things. But when praise come on, you like this here. You like you like one of them daggone lizards here in Florida here when it's cold. You can't even move during the winter time. You're stuck until the sun come up and the cold blooded creatures their blood start to warm and then they start to move. Get your own fire, warm your own blood up. Don't let a lizard that's waiting on the sun to come up or that crocodile. They come outside in the, they come outside in the grass. That's where they lay on the grass for saints. They're trying to get their blood warmed up because they're real stiff. Cold blooded animals can't warm their own blood. That's what they lay on the grass for. Because they're waiting for the sun to come up and shine upon them. So then they can move. But get your own sun. Get your own fire, saints, so you can move on your own. Don't wait for nobody else to provide sun for you. Gain your own sun. Gain your own fire in your own prayer closet. Hallelujah. Gain it for yourself. I got my own fire, saints of God. Get your fire in the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't need nobody to shine, and shine no sun on me, saints of God. I don't need nobody to lay hands on me, saints. Hallelujah. The five hours of my life anyway, saints. I, I spent my time in God. And I'm going to continue to spend my time in God. Because when I go somewhere, I have something to go with me. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Say the whole world is filled with his glory. Oh, hallelujah, saints of God. I'm fired up today, saints of God. Ha, shondro. La kondre la basondro. The whole world is filled with his glory. Praise the living God, saints. Praise the living God. Hallelujah, saints. Praise the living God, saints. Praise the living God. Amen, amen, amen. I thank the Lord for all y'all, saints. All of y'all that have your own praise. All of y'all that have your own fire. All of y'all have already cultivated your true relationship with the Lord. We praise God for you, saints. It's not to make somebody feel bad, saints, but it's time for us to inventory ourselves. To see what's, what's being said in the spirit realm, saints. Is it you? Is it you? Because we can run and go to that channel all we want to, to look for somebody to, to speak cute to us, to speak nice to us. But you better come where, where there's an anointed word that's going to meet you at your point of need. That's going to hit you right there where you're liking at, saints. That's what you need, saints of God. Because, saints, we can't hide. All this, the secret friendly message, saints, we look for, uh, an encouraging message all the time. See, those things are good and great. But, saints, love, saints, will hug you, and love also will spank your butt. Oh, hallelujah. I got a mom that did both. She would hug me and she would spank my butt.
when time was necessary. Oh, hallelujah, saints. Love gives you both. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Love will tell you when you're wrong. Hallelujah. But love also will hug you when you need to be hugged. Oh, my goodness. Praise the living God. God will give us hugs, saints, and God will also give us specking our behind, saints, when need be. Thank God. Thank the living God. I've gotten my hugs from God. I've gotten my specks from God. Hallelujah. And I thank the Lord for it. Though my butt was sore, praise living God. I needed it. So do you. Praise the Lord. God bless you, saints of God. God bless you here. Let us get, in, get into the lesson here. Hallelujah here. Yeah. As y'all see the title of the message here, saints of God, it's God's mercy on us. You say God's mercy on us. That is the message that God has given me today, saints. So we're going to go ahead and get into it here. God's mercy. God's mercy upon us. And let's get into our first verse here. Let's get into uh, Ephesians, the second chapter here, saints. Ephesians 2. Hallelujah. Ephesians, the second chapter. Ephesians 2 and 1. Thank you, Lord. Ephesians chapter 2, we're going to start with verse 1 here. All y'all just coming in, we're going to Ephesians 2, chapter 2. We're going to start with the first verse. Amen. And it reads, And you has he quickened who were dead in trespass and sins, wherein in past time, in time past, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and we, by nature, the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who was rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us. Verse 5. Even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ, by grace you are saved, and has raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Dear Father, we love you, Lord. We thank you today, Lord. Father, we lift you up on high. Father, right now, touch your people, Father, right now. Lord, open their ears, open their minds, their hearts, Father, right now. And Father, right now, Father, anoint my tongue, Father, right now, as an orc of the Lord, Father. Help me to write this about the word of truth, Father. And Father, actually, as I always, Father, give me right now words, Father, right now, down in my spirit, Father. Download the heaven, Father, that I have not written down. Even though I've studied, Father, right now, prepared a lesson as you told me to, Father, right now. But give me revelatory knowledge, Father, so I can teach your people, Father, so they can probably be instructed, Father. Father, those of the ear, hear what the Spirit of God is saying unto the church, Father. Father, right now, Father, we speak right now, Father. Let every demonic force and scheme, Father, that's assigned to distract us, Father, in the network, Father, on Facebook, Father, even in our own houses, Father, right now, even in our places right now, Father. Put a wall of fire around us, Lord, Lord Jesus. Judge our image, Father, right now. Cover this network. Cover this channel, Father, in the blood of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Father, right now for being in this place, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord, right now. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. God bless you, honored saints of God. Bless you, honored saints. God's mercy on us. Hallelujah. I say God's mercy on us. So what is the definition of mercy, saints? See, mercy is compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. I'll say again. Mercy is compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. Now, a secondary definition is, is it is also when we don't get what we deserve. Are y'all hearing me? It also is when we don't get what we deserve. You understand? See, grace is when you get what you deserve. You see? So this is what it is. So, so, so you get what you don't deserve. 
See, that's grace. When we see and see here now, in mercy, see, in mercy, see, see, it's when we don't get what we deserve. Grace is when you get what you deserve. See, that's why grace is on all of us. You understand? Universal. So, so that stops us, right? So, we got to understand they're very close, closely linked. But see, mercy, saints, is in the hand of God. Okay? Because, God's, because God has the hammer of also what? The hammer of judgment in his hands. He can slam down his hammer, just like any, any dog on judge in the court, can slam down the hammer here, right, and send you to death. He can do it any different time. God can do that. It's within his rights. But, it says, but it's also in his rights to also bestow mercy upon us. Even though we were, we were supposed to get the hammer. We deserve the hammer. Our sins merit that to get the hammer. But mercy is given instead. Let's keep moving. Now verse 1 says, And ye has he quickened who were dead in trespass and sin. We were dead, saints, in our trespasses and sin. That means what, saints of God? We were marked for what? We were marked for destruction. We were born, as David said, we were born and shaped in iniquity from my mother's womb. So we were marked, saints, as soon as our, we came out of my mother's womb. We were marked for destruction. But we were born in sin, saints of God. What are you saying? But he says, but God quickened us who were dead in our sins and trespasses. So what's trespasses? It's violations of the law. That's trespasses. The violations of the law. So this is what we did. We sinned and we violated God's laws. God's moral laws, God's spiritual laws. We broke all of them, saints of God. And we continue to do it. Okay. But verse 2 says, Wherein in times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So saints, we were lost saints without any hope. We were spiritually dead from our trespassing sins. Sirs, we weren't seeking after God. We were seeking after the prince of the power of the air. We were driven by Satan. Satan was beating the drum and we were dancing. We were moving according to what he beat. So Satan said left, we went left. He said right, we went right. We were moving to the prince of the power of the air according to also those who are in this world. This is what Christ is talking about here. So verse 3 says, Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and by nature the children of wrath, even as others. By our nature, saints, we were children of wrath. By our nature. You see? We were driven by our lust of the body and also of our mind. We were driven by these things, saints of God. We're telling you this is what all, all of us were doing. This is plural. All of us were doing these things. This was our lifestyle. We walked this way every single day. We went to bed this way. We woke up that way. This is what we're doing. Let's keep going. But verse 4 says, but God. But God who is rich in mercy. For his great love wherewith he loved us. But it said, the hem of judgment was coming down. But God said, hold on father. My blood will cover them. My blood will pardon them. Let me give them mercy instead of judgment. There was exchange there. I'll take the penalty for what they sins cause. So I'll give them mercy. Here we go. Christ showed us mercy in spite of our sins, thanks to God. In spite, saints, that we didn't merit anything, saints. We didn't deserve this. We didn't deserve love at all, saints. But he gave us it anyway. Let's keep going. Verse 5. Even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace, what? Ye are saved. Saints, his grace was also given to us, saints. Yet again, we were dead in our sins. He quickened us. I mean, he revived us. He resuscitated us. We were flatlining, saints. He put those bolts you see in the hospital when people are going to conquer arrest. Clear. Because we were spiritually dead. Our spirit man was going toward damnation. But he quickened our spirit. He said he quickened us. That means in our spirit, in our inner man, that was quickened. Because that's what goes to the pit. That's what gets judged. This body's a shell. Y'all understand? He's talking about the spirit in us. See, he's not talking about this shell. Man. This is just a covering. Okay? He's talking about the spirit man was there. 
So the body can't be quickened. The spirit is quickened. Then the body changes according to the spirit. So a man thinks, so a man is. So when the spirit is quickened, the body will follow. That's the reason why I say we do certain things. The mind or the spirit has not been changed. Be ye strength with might in your inner man. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. When that gets transformed, the inner man gets transformed. The body will follow. That's why we do certain things when we, weren't, when we aren't serving the Lord. But when we serve God, there's a transmission inside. Then we go a different direction. That's this, this all a part of the salvation process. Let's keep going. Verse 6 says, And has raised us up together, and has made us to sit together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Saints, we were dead going down the road of destruction. See, Christ quickened our spirit, then he took us up with him. So, right now, saints of God, our body is physically here. And many of us saints that have, a, that have a serious prayer life, you know how it is when you pray, especially when, you, when you're praying during deep intercession, you somehow you feel like you leave your body. You feel you're moving in the spirit. You are going to your proper place to pray. See, our spirit gets quickened up there in Christ Jesus. So that's why when you pray, you pray from a position of authority. That's why when you pray, the enemy is under your foot because your spirit man goes to his proper place on the wall of, up there with the Father. So you speak down to your enemy, see? See, many of us know this who have a serious prayer life because you feel yourself flying or traveling in the spirit when you're praying. You know that you're breaking through. You're going to your proper position. So this is what we're talking about, says of God. So when you, you become that believer in Christ, when your spirit gets quick and these things get realized as you move forward in God and mature in things of God, these things are made known to your saints. This is our proper place. But mercy is the one that sets this off. Because without mercy, saints, you will never, ever receive your true inheritance. Because you are kings, you are queens. God gave us mercy instead of judgment. He's raised us up together, saints, to sit with him in heavenly places, far above all principalities, powers, and mice. That's why the enemy is under your feet when you understand your position in Christ. Hallelujah. God's mercy on us, saints of God. Turn your Bible to Romans, the ninth chapter. Let's keep moving, saints of God. Romans 9. We are now seated in high places with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. No longer in the ditch. No longer in the valley. Hallelujah. You are now at your proper post. In the name of Jesus. Actually, saints of God... Well, no, we, we, yeah, we fine. We can read this at first. Romans 9 and 15. Hallelujah. Romans 9 and 15, saints of God. And it reads, For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy on, and I will have compassion on whomever I have compassion on. What that means, saints of God? See, saints of God. God can give mercy on whomever he chooses, either saved or unsaved. That's mercy, saints, when you don't get what you deserve. So he can bestow here, we're saying, God can show mercy, which means compassion, on anyone that he chooses. That's why some people that have done wrong all their life are still living. I know many cities say, well, why always that the wicked, they always are getting, getting by. They seem to be blessed. They're getting this. They're getting that. Well, and a lot of them also receive grace because somebody is also praying for them. They got a mama, a daddy, a grandmama. A lot of them are, are liars and thieves or whoremongers are liars. But a lot of them are living up other people's prayers because they are continuing to be interceded for. That's why a lot of them are still alive right now. That's why I was alive. I was allowed to get saved because I had a mom and grandmother that died laying up prayers for me. Just like Job did. The Bible says Job prayed just in case his children sinned. He sent prayers ahead, saints of God. Interceded. Sent them on ahead. In case there's an ambush. In case there was a ditch that's dug. In case there was a bridge that came out. I pray. I pray and make sure the bridge gets many. So that I come to that location, I can drive on the cross. Your prayers can send. Hallelujah. Deliverance years on down the road. Oh my goodness, saints of God. That's another message, saints of God. But this is what we're talking about, this saints of God. But mercy, or oh mercy, saints of God. Mercy, hallelujah, saints. 
God can bestow it upon anybody. So don't fret when you see certain people saying it seems like they're, they're still surviving when they've done wrong their whole life. But by and by, saints of God, those people who are praying for them, saints of God, are not going to always be here. And then, saints, there's going to be payment that's going to be demanded for their sins. Because nobody now is standing in the gap to meet that sin demand. Because intercession will pay the price. Will pay for what? What you keep doing. So when the interest is gone, see, now mercy may not be given to you now because it could be gone or pulled back. You see? And we're going to get to the mother. But mercy can be given to anyone, saints of God. Now let's turn our Bible here to, real quick, to Lamentations, uh, the third chapter here. Those who may not know this, know this book, it's right in between, not right between Jeremiah and Ezekiel. Lamentations is the second book of Jeremiah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lamentations 3, 3 and uh, 21. Praise God. Lamentations 3 and 1. I'm sorry, 3 and 21. Praise God. 3 and 21. And it reads, This I recall to my mind, therefore I hope. Verse 22 says, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Oh my goodness. Let's read again, saints of God. Jer Jeremiah says, This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Oh my goodness, saints of God. Oh my goodness. Without his mercy, saints, we all would be consumed in God's wrath because of our sins, saints. But his mercies or compassion, saints, don't fail or run out. Oh my goodness, saints of God. Because of his mercy, saints, we are not consumed by wrath. We are not completely taken out, overrun, overwhelmed. His mercies Plural, mercies, mercies cover us and protect us, saints of God. They give us a state of execution. What's that, saints of God? You know, saints of God, there can be an inmate that's on death row. And now he can be sitting there, saints, at the day of execution and sit there in the room where you have the officers in charge of the execution. There's a red phone in there. Now the governor can call and ring that phone and say, you know what? I pardon that person there. I'll give him what? I'll give him mercy. He won't die today. See, that is what we're looking for, says the God. You're looking for the red phone to ring, says the God. That's what mercy is. The red phone could ring or not ring, says the God. That's why it's not, it, it's, not, it's not good for a person to stay in mercy. To move from mercy to, to, to go to grace. Because mercy, it may come or might not come. What, what? I'm going to give you an example of mercy. Says the man beside the road say, with a sign saying, I will work with food. Thanks of God. The only way he would eat is somebody actually turn over side the road in their car and actually extend them five dollars. That's called mercy. They might stop or they might not stop. You see, saints of God? That's mercy. It's not guaranteed, saints, especially when you're not in God's covenant. But when you're in God's covenant, saints, the blessing of God will overtake you. You inherit a blessing because your life measures up. That's why you thank God for mercy when you need it, but you can't live in mercy. Even though it's a lot of mercies, you can't stay in mercy. So you move from mercy and flow in grace and favor. That's the perpetuation of our spiritual walk. So thank God for mercy, but we can't live in mercies. But it's there if you need it, says the God. But you can't stay in mercy, because if you stay in mercy, that means you're a habitual sinner. So you always are trying to wallow in that, says the God. It's there when you need it, saints, but don't live in mercies. Walk in holiness, saints of God. Then the favor of God will overtake you, saints of God. Because when your life is honorable unto the Lord, saints, many things will come to your location and you don't have to pray for it. Oh my goodness. Your life will allow you to inherit a blessing. But God's mercies, hallelujah, 
was the reason why we were not consumed. Because he has a time saying you have to live in mercies. But you quickly, when you understand the word of God, you quickly move out of mercies and walk in grace and then favor. Are y'all following me, says God? Thank God for mercies. But says don't wallow and live in mercies. Just like the man beside the road says he might eat if somebody extend mercy unto him. But folks may pass on by in the car and not stop and putting up in this cup or putting up in this can. That's mercy, saints. That's why you can't stay in that. Let's keep moving, saints of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Luke 18. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for his mercies. It's the reason why we're not consumed. Hallelujah. We're not judged by fire. La bon draconse. Thank you, Jesus, for mercies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke 18, saints of God. Luke 18. We're going to start with verse 35. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Luke 18, 35. And it reads, And it came to pass that he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the way side begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. Now verse 38 says, And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Thou, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Saints of God, mercy can be given to anyone, saints, but brokenness, humility, and persistence, saints, can change the mind of the king. Saints, let me tell you something, saints of God. Now, when a person does you wrong, you're in the power, saints, to release judgment upon them, right? Same thing now. It's definition of mercy. Now, they do you wrong. And you are in the, the place to, to do harm or jump toward them. Now, when this person quickly apologizes or they stay in pride, is it easier for you to move to get the mercy when they apologize to you or they sit there and say, well, this is how I am. I don't care if you like it or not. You see, see, humility saints can sway the mind of the king, can change the mind of the king. Your position of yielding and being humble and broken in spirit and persistent to move forward to change your life or to pull on say please forgive me brother or please I, I didn't mean it sister I'm sorry I didn't mean no harm I'm sorry I did you wrong so mercy has now an opportunity to be released so of course the king or the queen that was you or him see you, you have the mind to want to judge that person or retaliate but when humility comes in now and Brokenness now, it can sway your mind. <laughs> Hallelujah. Saints, the blind man, we know it's Bartimaeus, right? Was persistent in calling on the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Now here's verse 39, says, verse 39. And they which went before him rebuked him that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Saints of God, he was persistent in calling on the name of the Lord. He was persistent, and he was not worried about a reputation. They were saying, be quiet, you're being a fool. You're talking too loud. You're crazy. You're embarrassing yourself. He got even louder, saints of God. He was not worried about a reputation. He knew he had a need in his life, and only one person can deliver him from his time of trouble. And that was the son of David. Have mercy on me. Hallelujah. Brokenness, humility, and persistence will sway the mind of the king. Let's keep doing, saints of God. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 40 says, And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought upon him. And when he came near, he asked him, saying, What will thou that I should do to you? He said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith has saved thee. Saints of God, by this man of God here, being persistent and only relying on one person. That means he had faith in Christ. 
Rather, there's a lot of faith or a little faith. He wasn't calling nobody else's name. He only called on one name. So he had faith to believe in Christ. So when he kept pushing with his perseverance, so his perseverance and also his brokenness equal what? The mind of the king was not even going his location. But when he heard him cry, the mind of the king changed direction. And it came to his vicinity. Even though I was going to give grace somewhere else, because you're pulling on me in your broken spirit, I'll extend grace your way. Because you got my ear. You're calling on my name. So I will come to your location, even though I was not going to give you grace. But you were persistent in searching after me. Oh, hallelujah. You turned my mind. You caught my ear. Oh, my goodness. Now grace. Now healing. Now deliver it. Go to their location. Oh, hallelujah, says God. Persistence, brokenness will also extend mercy unto you. Because it extends, it changes, it will get the mind, it will get the ear of the king. Who the king of kings, Lord, the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, saints of God. Be humble. Saints, be submissive unto the Lord, saints of God. Many of us are too prideful to call on God. We ball up in our spirit. We won't shout. We won't praise God. I've seen many folks shouting in church and got healed through their praise and worship time. That's not their shoes, saints. Got healing in their body, saints of God. They were not worried about anybody who saw them, saints. They were broken and they were calling on the name of the Lord until they dance until they heal it. Oh, hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody right now, saints of God. Many of y'all would break your religious condition, saints. You will get healed. You will get delivered. Mercy wants to come to your location. But you have not been broken yet in your spirit. Blind by the mayor's was. They told him to be, be quiet. Keep your mouth closed. You're embarrassing yourself. But he went to start shouting louder and louder. He knew only one man can heal him, says God. And you know that same man, says God. Learn to call on the Holy Son of David. Who is that? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thou, son David, have mercy on me. Thou, son David, have mercy on us. Oh, hallelujah, God. Have mercy on me. Hallelujah, saints of God. Saints of God, call on the name of the Lord. Sway the mind of the king. Get the king's ear. Because he might not be going to location. But when you call out to his name, he may change to come to the location. Because you got his ear to your worship, to your praise, to your pulling on God. You made him come your way. Oh, hallelujah. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. I got to praise in me, saints. I got to praise in me, saints of God. I will get the mind of the king. I will get the ear of the king, says God. But I don't care who look at me, saints. I will call on the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, saints of God. Saints, his brokenness and persistence, saints, equal into faith. And he received his breakthrough. God's mercy fell upon him in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, saints of God. God's mercy fell upon him. Praise God. Persistent saints, brokenness saints of God, these are things that will allow us to receive mercy from the Lord. Don't let pride stop you, saints of God, because I'm telling you, saints, it can block you from receiving mercy. Yeah. Let's keep going, saints of God. We're almost done. Luke 17, saints. Let's turn to verse here, Luke 17. And Luke 17, we're going to start with verse 11. Praise the Lord. Luke 17, 11. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 17, 11. Glory to God. Luke 17, 11. And it reads, saints. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voice, voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. That same word, saints of God, have mercy on us. Or have mercy on me. Asking for mercy. They're putting on mercy. Hallelujah. And as we know, Jeremiah said, if it were not for the mercies, plural now, of God, we will be consumed. So they were trying to grab onto one of those mercies, each one of them on it. So they would not be consumed. And what was consuming them was leprosy, which was the sentence of death. There was no healing for leprosy that men knew. Hallelujah. 
So it says, verse 30 says, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Here's verse 14 says, and when he saw them, Jesus, he said to them, go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Saints, the lepers were obedient to the voice of the Lord. Saints of God, they were not asking God a thousand questions that we, some of us have a whole long list that we ask the Lord. This, 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 this. We're going to have so much information before we do anything with God. Abraham heard a word from a God he had not met yet. He said, leave your family in Ur of Chaldees. He said, go, I'm going to make you a father of many nations. He was a very, very rich man, saints of God. They had a very, very large inheritance with his father. He left the inheritance, saints. All he had was a word now. He didn't work with a long list. He heard a word and it's left. Of a God he had not really met yet. But heard a word and moved on that word. Be obedient what he heard. Didn't wait. The lepers did not wait for a long list. Do you know we, we got flesh bone off bone? We're sick. We got to go around town and say unclean, unclean. No, he said, go. And it said as they obeyed his voice. Hallelujah. As they put their best foot forward. Because faith in you will create what? Movement in the direction you were told to go. And as they walked forward, healing fell upon them. Oh, hallelujah, saints of God. So what's the next thing that can move mercy upon you? Obedience to God's word. They were obedient when they heard the voice of the Lord, saints. And when they moved on what God said, healing came to them, saints of God. They tapped into mercies. And mercy said, here you go. Here's healing to your body. Boom. They were healed. Because they were obedient to the word. They didn't have a long list of demands to make things feel great for them. They heard a word and it is moved. And the Bible said as they move, they were healed. On the way of obeying God, they moved. Hallelujah, they were healed. Saints, the obedience allowed the mercy of God to fall upon them. Hallelujah, saints of God. God, let your mercy fall upon us right now. Oh, hallelujah, God. Let your mercy fall upon us, God. Let us be obedient. We already know the word of God. Let's not ask any more questions. If God say go, let's just go. If he say stop, you just stop. If he say don't marry that woman, don't marry her. Don't marry that man, don't marry her. Don't move to that city, don't move there. Don't take that job, don't take that job. Whatever God is saying, don't question why. Just say, okay, Lord, I stop. Because obedience is what will allow you to receive from the Lord. As they were obedient. Obedient, then healing fell upon them. Hallelujah, thanks God. They received mercies through obedience. Oh my goodness, Lord. Let your mercy fall upon me, God. Let your mercies fall upon me right now, God. Even though I'm not living in mercy, Lord, I'll receive mercy. Lord, please, Lord, I don't know about next week or tomorrow. I may need some mercy next week, God. So I receive your mercies, plural, right now. Oh, hallelujah, saints of God. I'm almost finished. Last verse, saints of God. Last verse, last verse, last verse. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Hallelujah. Last verse, saints of God. Let me finish up here. Bless the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Obedient saints of God allow them to receive mercies. Blind by the mess was what? Persistent in the Lord. Persistent with God. That allowed him to receive mercies. Because you see, saints, obedient saints of God and also persistence can allow you to what? To sway the hand of the king. To sway the ear of the king. Hallelujah, saints. Second Corinthians chapter 1, saints. Verse 3. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Say to God, he is the Father of mercies. 
Hallelujah, says God. God has plenty of mercy left for us because he's the daddy of mercies. So he can make plenty more if he needs to on our behalf. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, says God. He says, blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Saints of God, whatever we are struggling with, saints, the, the God of mercies, the Father of mercy, saints, will meet us at our current location. Saints, if we need mercy today, God will send mercies in your location, saints. If you say that, God, I need more, he is the Father of mercies. So he'll give more to you if you need that, saints of God. Even though you're not laying in mercy, but when you need it, saints, it's there for you, saints of God. So God have mercy on me. But I don't know, saints, about tomorrow. Saints. I might need mercy tomorrow. So, saints, I receive my mercy right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for being the father of mercies. So when I need it, God, you are there to give it to me, saints of God. Because sometimes I might mess up. So mercy is given unto me so I don't get what I deserve. Oh, my goodness, saints of God. Are y'all hearing me tonight, saints of God? He is the father of mercies. If it was not for God's mercies, the book of Lamentations says we'll be consumed by his wrath. Saints, I thank God for his mercies. I thank God for his peace. Lord, I thank you right now for being the father of mercies. Even though I was dead in my sins and my trespasses. And I was inheriting what? Hell was my destination. God, you quickened me in my spirit and also renewed my mind. And you didn't leave me on the ground. So when you touched my spirit, you also took me up to sit in high heavenly places with you. So now, say, you can look over your enemy, saints, and point and look at your enemy's demise. Because your position now, saints, was dead. And now you rose to kingship. Oh, hallelujah. His mercy also promoted us. From being in the gutter, from being in the sewer, from being in the valley. Now we're seated in heavenly places. Because the God of mercies not only saved your life, quickened your spirit, but set you up beside him. We are God's children, saints of God. Mercies is given unto us. As I say, saints, let's not live in mercies, but it's there when we need it. Don't wallow in sin. Don't always need it all the day long. That means you're staying in sin. It's there to help you when you do mess up things. But don't purposely mess up. Don't practice sin. Because I said then, says of God, that man beside the road with that sign. People can stop and give him food, or they might not. That's how it is, saints, when you're outside of God's jurisdiction. But when you're in right Stands with God, saints. These provision saints will come to you because your life makes you inherit a blessing. But mercies are here for us, saints, when we need them, saints. He is a God of mercies. He is a God of peace. He's a God of love. And his mercies are renewed to us daily, saints. They're given to us daily. And his mercies laugh everlasting after everlasting, saints. They're here for us, saints. I just want to encourage y'all today saints of God to understand God's mercy saints are there for us he loves us saints that's the reason why saints we had the opportunity saints to get it right with God and we did not come and we weren't taken out because our sins demanded us saints to be children of wrath that was our destination but God changed he changed our course when we gave our life to him saints of God and saints I say again don't be prideful saints of God when you do need mercy, you shout out to God. Because even though, saints of God, your sins have disqualified you, saints. But as blind by mist, kept being persistent and hollering at thou, sir, they have mercy on us. Mercy was given to his location, saints of God. And he received his healing.